Hey, what's up, guys? So it's your girl Kat, and I am here. I know, I know, I know. Like I went ghost on y'all, and I didn't want to stay gone, but I just needed like a break or whatever um, from YouTube because, like, y'all know, like I'm older, so like I'm in my thirties, and um, you know I have my son, and. I just have like a real life like I work a real career job like um, you know I'm positioning myself to keep moving higher and higher in the field that I'm in um, I'm also pursuing another field you know like I also partake in business ventures like I am also a part-time entrepreneur so um, I just pretty much needed a break because there was a lot going on so um, I, I miss y'all and then also too something that had happened <laughs> was my um and I should have my microphone on I don't know why I don't but my actual um computer when I updated to the Mojave or something when my Mac erase my final cut pro so i just was like you know what maybe this is a sign from god maybe i just need to go ahead and take a break so i went ahead and i just kind of went with the flow um and i did that so that is the reason why i was gone for a while amongst other things but i'm gonna talk to you guys about those things while we film this video all right so um <clears throat> First things first, at the end of 2019, it was not, it just was not a good space for me. Um, the biggest thing that I can say is that at the end of 2019, um, I lost a friend. And um, it was my brother's like ex-girlfriend or whatever, but she was like the first girlfriend that I really, really remember him having. And I really loved her. I left her um, like a sister so that was really hard for me um like sometimes I just kind of still am in denial and in disbelief that she's not here anymore so I took that really hard and that took a toll on me um that started making me look at things differently because we had conversations um, you know, like via text or on the phone and just, I don't know, like it really just kind of tore me up, you know? So that was like one of the things that happened at the end of 2019. And I don't think that I really dealt with it because I don't think that I was trying to deal with it because I was hurt. So, um, I don't know. I just needed time and then often when we take time to deal with things sometimes we just get busy and we don't do the necessary things that we need to do um to get over those things and i i didn't you know what i'm saying i really don't feel like i i was doing that i just like got busy and i started adding more to my plate and you know like so i'm still feeling the residual um of that Cause I used to joke around with her and just be like, you want to be Travis mom or dad? Like whichever role you want to play, then I'll play the other role. We could be his parents or whatever cause she didn't have any kids. So, um, yeah, that was a big thing for me. Um, so the other thing for me was I kind of, um, get bored with, I kind of get bored with YouTube, you know, like I, don't know like I know I'm creative right but you go through these little spats where you just don't know what your audience wants and you don't know how to get like to the next level or whatever <clears throat> and you know like I want more subscribers I do want to do this YouTube thing I do want to do you know like videos but I need to know what people want and it's just like with me being wrong I can't come on here doing certain types of videos because I don't have time for that. Like, I literally, like, it's, look, I woke up at 4.30 went back to sleep. It's 5.45. I need to hurry up because I got to load the car up because I got to put my baby's project in there. Um, 
it's certain things that I have to do today and make sure I do before I leave the house because I have a child and, and I'm a single parent right now. So it's just me and him in the morning, which sometimes gets crazy. Y'all need to get my eyebrows done. Don't even worry about that. I'm about to fix that right on that. <laughs> so, um, you know, it gets crazy with us just having to move in the morning because it's often a struggle um, with him waking up. And these are things that I got to deal with on my own. And I'm okay with that. I'm cool with that. But Lord, he gives me the blues. So, um, you know, I got to really go to work. Like, I have a real job, real responsibility. Um, something else that happened at the end of the, <clears throat> end of the year was um, I got a promotion. So, my job title is changing drastically. But I'm on hold right now. Um, because... The person who is um, in charge of releasing me and letting me move forward has not found somebody to fill my position. So until that happens, I'm on hold, which is like, it sucks. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I say, like, you know, if you are an entrepreneur and you want to be a full time entrepreneur and you don't want to give anybody um, hold of your life, like, you know, like being an entrepreneur is pretty cool or whatever. You got to do things differently. Um, but, you know, at least you get to call shots, you know, within reason, because you do still have to work with people, you know. So that for me <clears throat> is something that has also changed. Now, I don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what to do like i don't want to vlog every day i'm just not too interested in that and then my life is just regular like <laughs> i'm a regular smegular my life is boring i know it seems like adventurous at times or whatever because yeah i do stuff or whatever yeah i know people um but also at the same time when i'm in certain situations or around certain people i don't want to always have my camera in other people's faces you know what i'm saying like um, I just, I don't want other people to feel uncomfortable is what I'm saying. So I don't always like want to have my camera out, you know, um, that's just not something I want to do. Um, but I'm trying to figure out like how to balance content. And, you know, I, I, at one, at one time, you know, I had two, well, I do have two pages. I have Cat Mama, which was my page that has a lot of, like, my pregnancy videos on it, which were not that many, but I was just like, you know what, I'm not going to let that channel go because I don't have another kid. Like, it's just a lot of things that have been going through my mind. Um, and then, like I was saying, you know, I don't want to vlog every day because... I just feel like I want to keep something to myself. Like, I want to keep some of the most important aspects of my life to myself. Um, I go on these social media just, like, where I just want to delete everything. I want people to know the bare minimum. And it's just, like, people will take whatever you post on social media. And I'm telling you, they will try to run with it. Like, they will um just make up whatever it is that they need to make up for it to be something relevant to talk about and especially when you're um, an influencer i'm not gonna say that i'm a big influencer but i am gonna say that i do have you know a lot of people that watch me a lot of people that look up to me um you know just even on a personal level or whatever but it's just crazy how people will call you and be like, well, I was told this or somebody said they know you. And, and I was, you know, I was looking at this or somebody said they saw this. And it's just like, bro, like I didn't know people really had that much time on their hands to critique somebody's page so much. And then call them on the stuff that you posted on your page. So that's been something that has really like bothered me. And this has been like for years or whatever. So I was just like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I should post people. I don't even know if I should comment on people's comments no more. Because I don't want people to 
um, make up hypothetical situations or situations that actually don't exist. And then you have people who are like clueless and don't know what's going on, um, you know, because they try to read in between the lines and they're not reading correctly. Just because I post something on my social media doesn't mean it's about me. It could be about a friend or it could be a conversation that I just had with somebody because a lot of the times I'm the person that people call to vent to when they're going through things in their relationship. If I post something about like relationship woes, people be like, oh, she going through it. No, I'm not going through it. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody else may be going through it. I don't post subliminals. I like to call the people who I got something to say to and we deal with it. Just hand, you know, face to face or whatever. So that is something that you know i just was like when it came when it comes to youtube like i'm not gonna be doing makeup every time you know what i'm saying like i want to get dressed and i want to go but i was like you know what every now and again i guess i can put in an effort to set my camera up and y'all i'm not really doing like major makeup or anything like that because i'm just going to work so nothing major but um I guess I can set my camera up every now and again and just talk to y'all and figure out what you guys want. So, um, the other thing is just, you know, directional wise, again, like I said, I'm trying to figure out what direction to go with things in regards to my channel. Um, what do you guys want to see? Um, it's some elements of my life that I just, kind of do want to share but I don't want to share but I'm only going to share them if you ask for them you know what I'm saying like I'm a very spiritual person um you guys know like I'm into my candles and my crystals and different things like that um I love God like I am a worshiper and a praiser of the most high um but you know I also um take into consideration you know the world and the universe in which we live in and I'm, like I like to understand and know that you know there are other things out there there are other beliefs and I like to um understand different perspectives so um and you know I think we're all energy <clears throat> so I tend to like to uh look at that I need to extend my eyebrow <clears throat> so I tend to like to look into things like that. So um, aside from that, you know, I'm just being a mommy. Being a mommy is being a mommy. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you are doing it 24-7. And I do it 24-7 um, without much help because I just don't want my son to be like, here and there and everywhere like I like to get him from school bring him home do homework with him get him dinner like in a stable environment because stability is key to success I believe um I believe that um it's a lot of unstable people out here but they were pretty much taught to be unstable at a young age so <clears throat> Yeah, so I don't really want that for him. Um, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm actually just uh, making sure my eyebrows line up where they're supposed to. So that's what I was doing right then and there. Then I'm going to brush them out. <clears throat> so, um, you know, that's really it. Um, I have this idea and I'm going to see what's going to happen. Um, you know, I, I'm a creator, so I create a lot of things, right? So to me, like, I feel like if I created something like a year ago, right, for me, it's old. So I stopped pushing. I stopped pushing things that I've already used because to me, it's old. And to other people, it's not old. And I said, I'm going to stop being so hard on myself when it comes to that type of stuff because um, 
I have so many things, so much content, <laughs> and it'll be out for like a month, and I'm just like, okay, like it's not doing nothing. I'm over it. Like I want to move on to the next, but I have to really actually stop doing that and remember that I need to um, continue to develop things out um, as I create them and as I do certain things because. Just because something was out for a month doesn't make it old to the rest of the world because it's billions and trillions of people in the world. <laughs> and um, I have the opportunity to, to attract and work with and meet all those people. And I tend to forget that because I just want to push, 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 put things out. And um, so I'm working on my patience as well in terms of um, my business because I have a lot of content that I haven't pushed the way I need to push it. So I'm going back to the drawing board. It's just like, okay, if I reached, if I did reach, you know, 100 people or whatever, and those 100 people believes in me and bought my product or whatever the situation is, then I could do that with a hundred more people. Like I can't just leave the other, <laughs> you know, the rest of the world out. So that's something else that I want to do. Now, um, in terms of vlogging, like I said, I don't really want to vlog much. I'm being very private and personal, um, private and, and very quiet about my personal life. Um, because again i just kind of think that some things are we need to keep some things for ourselves you know and um i'm gonna just do this i think we just need to keep some things for ourselves i think people put so much of their business out there and that's a really not a good thing like <clears throat> um so in terms of <clears throat> like my personal life I will say that, yes, you know, like, of course, like, you know, you, I am um, involved and this is the extent of what I'm going to talk about. Um, I am involved with someone <clears throat> um, and I'm trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot that comes with situations, especially when they're serious situations like it ain't no fly by night it's not a fly by night situation so um I'm going to respect it as such you know I want to I don't know it's it's it's, it's weird but it's cute but I want to be private because um I really want to give this situation a really awesome 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 chance um moving forward um so yeah but you will not see that person on my vlog so y'all don't have to question that just know you know what i'm saying just like they had this saying on instagram um just because i don't show the person that i'm with doesn't mean that they don't exist my person exists very much so and he's awesome <clears throat> so that's that that's the relationship talk we done with that okay and y'all won't see him on the vlog but just know that i'll be real happy <laughs> i'll be super super happy and um yeah so um other than that you know, I've just been chilling. I've just been, like, helping people out. I've been, like, making units or whatever. I'll show you guys some of those, like, on another video. Um, Y'all saw my birthday video. I had a really, really fun time um, in Las Vegas um, with my sister um, and my other friend. It was, like, ups and downs or whatever. But I don't know. Like, traveling with women is difficult. But I am going to be doing some traveling in 2019. You guys... Um, we'll be able to travel with me and my son because I do want to take him on two major trips because he wants to go on a cruise and we are going to be going to um, New York at some point in 2019. Um, and then I have some other trips that I'm going to actually be taking. So, yes, I'm really, really, really pumped up about that. 2019, me transitioning to the new position. Um, it may not happen 
when I want to have when I want it to happen but it is going to happen um then also just accomplishments more accomplishments more accomplishments more accomplishments um and I want everybody to accomplish something in 2019 so if you haven't written down your goals make sure that you are writing down your goals if you guys haven't got my goal getters bundle you guys can click the link in the description box um the her winning circle link and you guys can go over there and explore the her winning circle page to get you motivated pumped up on your goals and all of that stuff and um I'm just gonna really be focusing on that a lot more um and just accomplishing things you know what I'm saying like getting things done um getting things done that I need to get done for me for my personal life um let's see put some eyeliner on this mascara and then we gonna pretty much call it a day with the makeup situation because um like I said just gonna work So, uh, oh, another idea that I had is that, um, you know, I'm doing my money manifesting. So I have my money manifesting candles <laughs> that I absolutely like love. Um, you guys can check those out too. Um, I'll put, I don't know where I'm gonna put that because I'm not on my personal Instagram anymore. Like I'm on Ooh, I have tea tree oil on my hands. I just touched inside my eyeball. Lord Jesus, that feels weird. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it on my Her Winning Circle page. But if you guys are interested, you guys can always message me about those. Um, but I'm always manifesting. I'm manifesting everything that I want in my life. I just think things are good, you know, I think, um, I've always been like in a rush for things to happen within my life. And I've always been like, let's go, I gotta get it, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And it's not always a good thing for you to rush things. Sometimes good things take time. Um, and this is like last year was the year of me learning that. Last year was a year of me understanding that I can have what I want when I want it and I'm gonna just say that I'm a complete brat you know what I'm saying like yep I'm 30 in my 30s and I am a complete brat yes I'm in my 30s I have a son and I am a complete brat when it comes to <laughs> some things you know um but with good reason like it's never bad it's ne I don't have bad intentions or anything like that I just be ready to go I'll be like let's go let's get it you know what I'm saying like I'll be wanting to just have things rolling <laughs> so that's pretty much it um oh last but not least the other thing that I'm gonna be doing you guys is I'm gonna be starting a cat says right so basically what I'm asking my followers to do is I'm asking my followers to go ahead and email me. So you guys are going to email me at it's just cat official at gmail.com. And you're going to tell me scenarios that you guys like have going on or whatever. And I'm going to pretty much address them um, on a video. Um, maybe like once a week or um, I will like take like maybe like three or four of them and just break them down and tell you what Kat says like what would I do in the scenario or what should you do or and it's just gonna be pure advice now opinions are like assholes everybody knows um so you know I'm just gonna tell you like what works for me what I feel what I would do everybody does things differently um but I am gonna be starting that so I'm really excited about that and then also I'm gonna like try to like include some other people like in these videos when I film these videos um I have like friends that I know will be down to like support my friends are always down to support me that's the cool thing but that's because I support my friends it's, it's just like it goes back and forth but I've been like super super anti-social <laughs> as well like I have friends who've been asking me to come out for months and I just haven't because I just been like trying to focus and get me together and be in my bag and be in my zone so y'all i am back i do apologize for the hiatus i did go ghost on y'all um 
some people are speculating that I'm pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I do get the questions when you're going to have another baby. My son, he wants a little sister. Um, I get all those questions. But I am not pregnant. I am <laughs> just over here chilling, getting me together, getting my life together. You know what I'm saying? Manifesting bigger and better things and just trying to work on me. I'm a solid person. I love hard. Um... And, you know, I'm clearing a path and I'm closing chapters so that I can begin new chapters. Um, and just trying to figure out what what works for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody don't work. Every, everything don't work for everybody. You know what I'm saying? A person's expectations of what they want in their personal life may not be what the next person wants. I was once, uh, you know, in my 20s. And when I was in my 20s, my expectations were way lower because I wasn't really thinking really far ahead, um, you know, into my life to where I was thinking like, oh, okay, like I'm going to want a house or, oh, you know, like, um, I always wanted to start a business, but oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like the person, you know, like the person I'm with don't have to understand, like, I, I'm I'm an entrepreneur even though I do these other things I'm like I value school and I value these things because of the way that I was raised so um that's pretty much it y'all I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go because I need to finish getting ready it is actually six o'clock now so I only have a few minutes I gotta get dressed I gotta get my baby up get him some clothes on I gotta get his project to the car so we gotta get out of here but I thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Um, I'm going to definitely be back and I'll be back with videos. I'm not leaving y'all no more. I got this thing under control, okay? I got this thing under control. I'm gonna balance things a little bit better and I'm just about to get it y'all. 2019 Tunnel Vision, I'm going to get it, all right? I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure y'all hit that subscription button below. Um, YouTube's on some very weird things or whatever, and I want to get my subscribers up. Y'all share this video with a friend. Um, if y'all don't like the video, thumbs down the video. If y'all like the video, thumbs up the video. Um, turn on your notification bell as well because I don't want you guys to miss anything in regards to my channel. Thank y'all. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And yeah, for real this time, I'm out. Peace.